We all know the Switch 2 reveal is coming, but how soon will it be? The latest news comes not from leakers, but from notable reporters in the gaming industry. And they are putting out on record that the reveal could not only be happening soon, but could very well be imminent. Though some say it could happen early in October, most are doubling down on it happening in September. We already talked on this channel about how PH Brazil said many presentations that were set for the end of September have been moved to August. And guess what? That did happen! Those presentations that were moved up to August were the Nintendo Museum Direct that happened on August 19th and the double feature back-to-back -back Indie World Showcase and Partner Showcase Directs that happened on August 27th. It wouldn't make a lot of sense to combine these directs to get them out of the way so that there's a void in September unless Nintendo was planning on a big event to fill in that void. And where Nintendo has traditionally held an official direct in September almost every year since 2012, and the directs that people were expecting in September have been moved, all signs are pointing to a major event happening very soon this very month. First to talk about the Switch 2 reveal happening soon is Christopher Dring from GamesIndustry.biz who posted on X with the following. With industry whispers around something Switch 2 related happening this month, I thought I'd remind everyone of the official list of the greatest games consoles of all time. One, Nintendo Switch. Two, everyone else. <laughs> I guess I'd agree with that too, but I know not everyone will. I know the specs aren't the best out there, but I'd say some of the first party Nintendo games, like the Zelda franchise, can't compare with anything else. Andy Robinson from VGC also weighed in on this with, Seems a bunch of press have heard this, but I still wouldn't bet my house on it. And then, well-known industry analyst David Gibson chimes in with an actual date. He said, Think it might be September 18th through the 26th or in early October. Avoid Tokyo Game Show. He next posted, No one seems to have noticed that Nintendo assembler Hoseidon is spending 2 billion yen on production equipment and 1 billion yen on automation in fiscal year March 2025 for its major customer in amusement, Nintendo. I still expect September news and March 2025 release for next device. Now, of course this doesn't prove anything, but you've got to acknowledge that some backroom conversations are happening. Whether that be from developers, publishers, or people in the know, that the reveal or first look trailer of the Switch 2 is going to be happening soon. It also makes sense that Nintendo would like to have this reveal before the Tokyo Game Show, which starts on September 26th, since there will be a lot of third-party gaming companies there, and many of these same companies would probably like to say, hey, our game is also coming out on the Switch 2. And no one's permitted to talk about Switch 2 games till Nintendo officially reveals it. You also have to remember that this is very important in Japan, because in Japan, Nintendo is the clear dominator of the video game market. Sony's in a distant second, and Microsoft doesn't even exist. So in this hyper-focused region, it would make a lot of sense to let these companies talk about their games for the next Nintendo hardware. David Gibson's predictions seem to be the most accurate with it happening as early as next week, because it would precede the Tokyo Game Show dates. Now, where Andy Robinson said he would have bet his house on it, a good plan B would be for it to happen in October, even though that would make it so no Switch 2 games could be revealed at the Tokyo Game Show. And PH Brazil also said that it would more or less follow the same timetable as the Switch did when the original Switch was revealed in October and came out in the following March. So, either way, we are right in the timeline of the reveal happening soon. But I'm betting on it happening next week, or at least before September 26th, when the Tokyo Game Show starts. If you like what you've seen so far, make sure you subscribe so you won't miss out on anything. Thank you.
We have even more surprises that hint on the Switch 2 happening this month that we'll talk about soon. But before we get to that, let's talk about what Nintendo's going to do this holiday season. Now, you might say, like many others have, wait a minute, won't this cannibalize what Nintendo is trying to do with the Switch this holiday season? In this regard, Nintendo said this in their own investor briefing. This fiscal year is when we devote ourselves to preparations for the successor to Nintendo Switch, and we believe that our top priority is to both maintain the momentum of Nintendo Switch and prepare for its successor. Rather than being overly focused on single-year profits, we have positioned this as a year to prepare for the future and to implement initiatives for continued growth and a long-term rise in corporate value. So, it sounds an awful lot, like Nintendo doesn't want to be so overly focused on one thing, but will in fact be focusing on both the momentum of Switch sales and propping up the Switch 2 to have the best possible launch from a long-term perspective. And they don't mind sacrificing some current fiscal year numbers to set up a long-term profit and success path for their next generation console. That would align with them promoting the Switch 2 this year, even though we're not going to get it till the 2025 launch. So that begs the question, how are they going to focus on selling Switch units this holiday season even after the Switch 2 reveal happens? This could easily be done with price drops, like most would expect, since Nintendo has never had a price drop for their Switch consoles, and this holiday season would be the best time for it to happen. But it looks like Nintendo has other plans. These holiday plans seem to be in the form of multiple different console bundles across all different levels of their hardware for Switch, Switch OLED, and Switch Lite versions. Now, Nintendo has had Switch console bundles before that launched during the holiday season with other games, like most notably Mario Kart 8 Deluxe that has surfaced every single year. In recent years, they've added in some variety with games like Smash Brothers. A bundle last year also gave the choice to pick from three different Mario games with a digital download code you could use to make your selection. And there were even Animal Crossing bundles for the Switch Lite. But Nintendo is getting more aggressive this year. Ever reliable data miner Bill Bill Coon revealed the following at Deal Labs. Nintendo Switch, we probably have the complete table of upcoming hardware releases in Europe. Five new Nintendo Switch packs will be released very soon. So, and according to our information, no less than five new Nintendo Switch products are about to be released soon in Europe. These products will mostly be packs including already existing consoles, namely the Nintendo Switch, Switch Lite, and the OLED model of the Switch. Unfortunately, we were unable to determine the exact contents of all five upcoming Nintendo Switch bundles. However, we did manage to determine their price in Euros, which you will find below. Nintendo Switch Lite Bundles Pack 1 Nintendo Switch Lite contains a console and turquoise Timmy and Tommy Edition Animal Crossing New Horizons pre-installed plus 12 months of subscription to Nintendo Switch Online Service Price 219 euros Pack 2 Nintendo Switch Lite contains a coral colored console with Isabel Aloha Edition Animal Crossing New Horizons pre-installed and 12 months of Nintendo Switch Online subscription price 219 euros. Nintendo Switch Sports Pack contains a Nintendo Switch console, neon blue and neon red color. It has the pre-installed Nintendo Switch Sports game and 12 months of Nintendo Switch Online subscription price 299 euros. Nintendo Switch OLED Packs Pack 1 Nintendo Switch OLED model contains a Nintendo Switch OLED model console, white color. It has the pre-installed Super Mario Bros. Wonder game and 12 months of subscription to the Nintendo Switch online service, price 349 euros. Pack 2, Nintendo Switch OLED model, contents unknown for now, price 349 euros. Regarding the first three Switch and Switch Lite packs mentioned above, and still according to our information, the announcement date is scheduled for September 12th or 13th. Their release date is set for September 19, 2024. 
Now, if you're in the market for the current Switch family of systems we have today, I would actually recommend you wait till October. Because if you remember what happened last year, the new console bundles released in Europe first, and then they came to North America a couple weeks later. The bundles weren't always one-to-one, -one, but were announced with the same dollar value when they came over here. With the pricing we're seeing, which matches Nintendo's same price points we've seen all along, it looks like Nintendo doesn't want to give us a discount on a Switch console, but will give us an added value by providing newer games we would rather have and a Nintendo Switch Online membership. Now, some people are taking this news to be a telltale sign that Nintendo isn't going to do anything to market their next-gen console this year. But that's just not true. You need to remember that Nintendo did the very same thing by marketing bundles for their Wii U and 3DS models after the Switch was first revealed. And Nintendo has to do things like this to hit their 13.5 million Switch unit sales that they forecasted to their investors for this fiscal year. This is is an expected move for them since they've done it before. I was hoping for a price drop, but it seems that more games and options in a bundle is what Nintendo is going to do this year too. You know, I wonder if the unknown bundle contains Zelda Echoes of Wisdom. We'll just have to wait and see. Now that we know Nintendo has holiday plans for their Switch and a Switch to reveal shouldn't cannibalize Switch sales, newer surprising reports are showing that the Switch to reveal is looking more and more like it will happen this month. We just learned about the PlayStation 5 Pro on September 10th with an outrageous $700 price tag without a disk drive and the stand sold separately. It would be nice to know about a $400 price next-gen Nintendo console that can play a lot of the same games this PlayStation 5 Pro can play, though maybe not to the same quality and frame rate, but who knows. What this means is now is the best time for Nintendo to snag some eyes off the PlayStation 5 Pro to show people an alternative solution at a much lower cost, and to be revealed just in time to steal the show at the Tokyo Game Show where Nintendo has always dominated in Japan. There have been claims that have been backed up by third-party developers that had games in the Indie and Partners Showcase Directs that were expecting their game trailers to be shown in the showcase in September and not August when Nintendo changed their plans by showing the Directs early to make room for something else in September. Gaming leaks and rumors reports on these claims with The August Nintendo Direct aired earlier than expected by Falcom. Falcom didn't know the Direct was going to air when it did, which unexpectedly happened before another event Falcom was going to. There were rumors Nintendo moved the Direct up from September, and which would be consistent with what Toshihiro Kondo was saying. Falcom wasn't expecting to have to talk about Trails in the Sky, the first remake, at that event was the impression I got. So this brings credence to the fact that yes, internal plans did shift around like we were hearing. And while this developer already submitted their trailer to Nintendo to be shown on the next Direct, they were expecting it to happen later on in September and not so early as we saw in August. Now, this next source is also surprising in that more people are chiming in on a big event happening this month. Gaming Leaks and Rumors next posted about this with Un Café con Nintendo claims that Nintendo has told its soldiers to get ready for a big event. In the latest episode of their Spanish podcast, they claimed that they knew about the incoming big announcement before the leaks started. They say Nintendo has told partners to get ready for a big promotion coming soon and talked about an event, Switch 2 related. They also know something else that they cannot mention because revealing it would compromise their source. All three hosts say they have been told firsthand specific details. One host says is 99% sure and the other says he is 80% that the reveal is in the coming weeks. They also claim that there is backwards compatibility and a system to transfer data from Switch 1 to Switch 2. They also confirm what Brazil said about moving everything forward to clear September. Next, we have Paul Gale Network saying this. I cannot verify this firsthand, but something huge just came my way. Supposedly, 
quite recently, a trailer-like commercial was filmed to promote a certain next-generation console. If this is indeed the case, I think we are one to six weeks away from a reveal. So, whether you want to believe it or not, it's entirely up to you. But there are more reports than ever chiming in that the Switch 2 reveal is happening sooner rather than later, with some talking about it happening as early as next week. September looks to me the more reasonable time, because Nintendo has cleared out time for it. The timing is perfect for it being after the PlayStation 5 Pro reveal, the Tokyo Game Show is right around the corner, and there are so many reporters whispering about it happening sooner rather than later. I'm definitely leaning toward it happening in September, but maybe it's happening in October too. I'd like to hear from you. Leave me a comment and tell me when you think the Switch 2 reveal will be. And are you going to still buy a Switch console this holiday season with your upcoming bundles, even though the Switch 2 is right around the corner? As always, thanks for watching Alcantar Gaming. If you like this video, you're gonna love this one here.